Good morning. It is the Saturday before Christmas. Kyle and I are on our Christmas break from work, which is exciting. Um, but even more exciting, we are leaving today to go to Washington, D.C. So I probably said this before in a lot of our videos, but we end up on trips where we're traveling and we're just on our way to destination stopping at grocery stores to eat because it's one, a lot cheaper, and two, we can pick out whatever we want rather than be limited to the menu choices since we're picky eaters. So now we're here at Giant Eagle, and I hope they have sushi. Is something wrong with your chip? They're still. They're like, almost like they were open? Yep. Or? Aww. Okay. Well, it's, lunch was a bust today. It usually works really well, but it was a bust today. I, um, I was getting stressed for Kyle stressing out. We've got stale chips that he ended up buying, and hopefully my carrots are good. That's the last redeeming thing on this menu of random stuff we bought. So, who knows? Woo! Made it! Welcome to District of Columbia. So we just made it to DC. Woohoo! We made it! We made it! We made it to DC. Kyle's putting the parking ticket in the car. Um, we actually found street parking, which is fabulous. And we were gonna go look for a restroom because I couldn't use the one at the 7 Eleven. So, here we go. Here we go. Woohoo! So Kyle uh, just reminded me of something. We are in Washington, D.C. together for the first time. For the first time. So we've both been here uh, a few occasions. Yeah. Collectively. Yeah. Neither of them together. I seem to be making like little trips to Washington where I don't really get that much time in the city. Last time I, well, the only other time I was here, I think, was in middle school for a field trip. My teacher said she wouldn't take us across the street, let alone to another state or city. It is really great to be here with someone, you know, that you're best friends with and making new memories yeah. at places we've already been. So, and the sun's starting to set. We're gonna start to see some old lights of like the monuments lit up and the national Christmas tree, which was on our bucket list yeah. for sure this trip. So, <sighs> all right. Kyle's amazing. He surprised me with the choir. How are you? Naturally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But okay, I feel like Willy Wonka with goggles on when I look at myself in the camera with these sunglasses. So we're off to the National Harbor. Woohoo! And we're actually right on schedule, which is, I'm really proud of. Surprising, but I'm so proud. We'll take it. <laughs> In two miles, use the right lane to take exit 2A to B for National Harbor Boulevard. National Harbor and Kyle remind me it's actually we're in Maryland to go there so last night we we were in DC then we stayed in Virginia, stayed in Virginia and then we crossed over the river into Maryland um, to see there's just so much to see I am yeah. so excited I'm like there's statues over there of presidents and there's soldiers over here and there's Christmas tree behind us and we're gonna go on the Ferris wheel and I'm very very excited There is no one else on this right now. Kyle and I are having like a private ride on the Ferris wheel. Amazing. So, wow. I can't wait to share it with you. It's so cool. Pro tip, come on a Sunday morning at 10 a.m. right when they open. Yeah. And you get to ride the Ferris wheel six, six or, seven, or seven, times. seven times. Oh my gosh, it was so cool. Yay! 
Everything's good. Whew. I'm cold though. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's chilly. A, it's chilly, so specifically in the parking garage. Mm -hmm. It's really cold. Oh, the concrete. Yeah. It's like. I'm not chilling. So we just got done eating lunch. We had um, pretty good salads at this uh, like pizza and salad place. So that was good. And we're heading out of the National Harbor now. I think we spent like just the right amount of time there. There wasn't a lot of traffic. We got to see what we wanted to see. Um, we've left, you know, th cool things to go back to if we ever wanted to. Um, yeah. Like it'd be cool to do like cocktails at the bar or something, but. It was a little chilly for that today. It's a little chilly today. And it's also, it was 10 a.m. when we got there, so. <laughs> Heading to the Lost Boy Cidery and we are going to meet up with some people. the Christmas tour of the house, the like after hours tour where they will take small groups up into the dome. So move over Thomas Jefferson, we're still here to see you, but this guy has stolen my heart. Continue straight onto Monticello Loop, then you will arrive at your destination. We're here, we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here. And I feel like we have to whisper because it's after hours and there's like way less cars in the parking lot and there's no one around. <laughs> and it's like we're going on a secret tour even though we bought tickets online. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course, you're welcome. have a chance definitely go to Monticello at night take the yeah. night tour especially Christmas time yeah you got to meet Thomas Jefferson have live music so much cool things sure. <laughs> do you think it was actually him oh yeah for sure yeah definitely all right it's day three of our 
Christmas birthday adventure. Sadly enough, we are heading home, but also good because we're going to spend Christmas and Christmas Eve with family, which is always nice. Yeah. <laughs> So we're, um, we're going to start the trek home. We have a couple places to stop along the way, um, meet up with some contacts Kyle has in the Seder world, yeah. and then we'll just continue on uh, back up to Ohio. So it's my turn to drive this morning. <laughs> I feel like there's very few shots of me driving because Kyle is, oh thank you, <laughs> Kyle is so nice that he um, likes to let me vlog while we're driving, yeah. And um, but I love to drive. You do. And I love to drive on country roads and through places that are cool like this part of Virginia, yeah. so I'm really excited to drive it. So where are we heading now? Albemarle Cider Works. Albemarle Cider Works. You gotta say it real fast and fluent. If you don't say it kind of southern, kind of southern. it sounds weird. So Albemarle. Yeah. Um. So that's not that far. It's not that About far. About 20 minutes from here. Yeah. And um, we're just we're we're obviously driving home, so Kyle's just gonna sample a few things. Yeah. And then pick up. Really. Yeah. And then pick up some stuff to take out. Oh. You ready to go get some cider? Yeah. Cool. here this morning to taste some ciders and ended up meeting up with uh, Chuck, uh, one of the owners and mm -hmm. cider makers. Um, and he showed us around a bit. It was really cool, great experience. Just, It's always so cool to see how different places make their cider, uh, what apples they use, what techniques they use. Um, it, it translates into uh, how the cider tastes, I think, and we did a uh, tasting of most of most of the ciders that they offer. Um, just little pours, but enough to you know get an idea of what each one tastes like. So we are on our way home. Um, Ashley's driving, as you can see. Mm -hmm. She is allowed. Um, <laughs> But yeah, we are on our way home. Uh, we're driving through Virginia right now, and traffic's pretty nice, uh, considering that it's two days before Christmas. Um, really not that bad. And Old Hill Heart Center. What is that? I don't even know what that is. It's like ADD for Cider Country. Like, yeah. We were just like, oh, there's a cider place there, there's a cider place there. Well, yeah. next time, maybe next time. 